You're an engineer. You want to grow in your career, but the world is changing, right? The skills that engineers used to need to be effective leaders are different now. So in this week's engineering management lessons video, I am thrilled to have with me Joey Hudnall. Joey is the president and CEO of Neil Schaefer. Joey oversees the operations of a pretty large consulting firm, and he also has the ability to talk with leaders every single day and help leaders every single day. Joey, I'm thrilled to have you with me today. In your opinion, in the world we live in today, what is the number one skill or skill set that engineering professionals must have to be successful? I think the number one thing that jumps out at me, Anthony, is people skills, the soft skills. Um, you know, you certainly need to uh, understand the technical side of the house and understand uh, everything that you need to do to design a project properly. But uh, in order to really deliver uh, on projects and deliver to your clients, I, I really think you, you need strong people skills. And uh, I think there needs to be more training in that. Uh and as a company, we're we're gonna look at more training for that. So yeah, I think that what's what's so interesting about that answer is that we're not really set up for that to be successful in people skills. And the reason being is it's not not only anyone's fault, but the engineering industry is such a technical industry. So when we're in college or undergraduate, you have to cram so many things into the curriculum for us to learn. And then we graduate and we kind of get thrown into the real world, if you will. And it's not just doing the work like in school, we're doing our homework assignments. We're now have to deal with clients and we have to deal with other consultants and we have to deal with other people within our own company. And so it, it it's a lot to handle. And then what happens is, and you know this because we're working on some of this together now, is that then you go to project management. And when, right. you, when you hear about project management, the three words you always hear people say is scope, schedule, budget. And yes, those are like the three pillars to project management, but I, I I got some news for you. If you can't interact with people, you could throw those three things out the window because you need to deal with people to manage the scope, schedule, and projects uh, budget on your projects. And so, Joey, that being said, how does one learn some of those skills? Is it experience? Like, what have you seen? You, I know you've seen some improvements, some people skills and some people in your, in your firm, anything that jumped out of you in terms of how they improved? Well, I think, I think they improve when they're, the, when they're paired together with somebody that's good at doing something, you know, mentoring is always a great way to learn. Um, you know, you, yeah, you watch it firsthand, and you're going to be able to pick up on it a little bit better. Uh, and, and the other thing is, you know, the individual's got to want to do it. You know, if they want to do it, I think it's easier to teach some of those soft skills and, and people skills. But the best way I've seen it in our organization really work is when somebody is paired with another engineer that's, you know, having to give presentations, uh, having to interact with the client, having to deal with conflict uh, when something does arise. And, and uh, that the leaders and the managers that are good at it also need to take the time to include uh, our younger engineers, whether they're just sitting in a meeting sometimes or not. That is important, in my opinion, you know, even if they have nothing that they have to present or do in the meeting, sometimes it's important for that younger engineer to sit in meetings or sit in a situation and watch. That's how, to me, that's some of the best ways you can, you can learn. Um, and, and look, and you're in this industry, Anthony, I, I don't know, you know, I do know, for me, coming through, I learn more from specifics instead of generalities. So when something was very specific for me that I, I was involved in or I witnessed, I learned more. I had, My takeaway was larger. So. Yeah, I love that. I mean, and, and what I'll say is, yes, we do some people skills training, but I don't want to offer that up because – a lot of people don't get that from their firms, right? So I want to give them a solution that they can get on their own. And what I would say right. is, I think 
Joey gave a great solution to this challenge, which is mentoring, right? There are people in your firm that, or your organization, maybe you work in a public agency, there are going to be people that are good with people skills. You need to connect with them. You need to get some mentoring from them. But I think it's a two-way street. And this is the important part of this is number one, you as the engineer need to step up and you need to say, I want to get better at this skill set. Can you give me resources? Can you have someone help me? I'm willing to I'm willing to come to the plate if if there's something that's available. And I did that as an engineer because I wanted to go to planning board meetings and I wanted to see how they worked, but my company told me that we don't have the budget to bring you. So I said, I'm not going to come and come on my own time. I just want to watch. And I went and I watched and I learned how to get really good at presenting and I started doing it at a young age. So you got to come to the table ready to play, but I think and then the second part of it is the manager side of it saying I need to mentor. I need to show this person how to be better. I need to let them come to the meeting and watch me. I need to let them come on the conference call with me. And then at some point in time, I need to challenge them and say, hey, listen, you were on the call with me last time. You call Joey and you take him through this project. You know, you're ready for that type of thing. That's right. Right. So it's a two-way street. You got to come ready to go. And the leader also has to be willing to help mentor and get, and quite frankly, challenge you at some point. That's right. That's right. And honestly, Anthony, as an engineer, I think we have a duty to pass on our knowledge. I mean, that's that's if we want our profession to continue to thrive and continue to be uh, as great as I feel like it is right now, we have got to continue to pass that knowledge on. And nothing frustrates me more uh, when when I see an engineer that's trying to just keep it all because sometimes, honestly, I, I, I feel like sometimes they might think it's job security. If I, te- if I teach somebody how to do this, you know, my job's in jeopardy. Well, that that's the farthest from the truth. I mean, you, you think about uh, mentoring somebody, bringing them along, passing that knowledge on to them, then all of a sudden you, you got more branches on your tree and you probably can grow something. And it just, I, I don't know. It, uh, but it's mentoring is the way you got to do it. And, you know, and look, and we as a company are not the greatest at it. We need help, you know, but I, I do think that's the best way to teach is through mentoring. Uh, I mean, you can come in and you can certainly have uh, different training sessions and they will be beneficial, but it's got to keep on. It can't just be, one and done. It's a, it's a continuous deal. So. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. And there's one saying that I always like to tell people when they, when I hear about the idea of, you know, leaders saying, you know, I don't want people to jump over me. Right. Cause I, I think that is the case in a lot of ways, you know, people are worried about their own career and, and whatnot. I always, I like that saying rising tide lifts all boats. Right. Yep. You help your team members grow. You're going to grow in the process. Your department's going to grow. The firm's going to grow. And that's always been my focus is that get everyone better, build everybody up, and the whole company is going to be better. Like I haven't seen anybody that has, to, to use your term, that has poured themselves into others and then they haven't been successful. You know what I mean? And those other people have, you know, taken over and they kind of left them behind. It doesn't work that that's way. Right. That's, that's not how life works. So, well, again, Joey, I want to thank you so much for giving us, you know, just some of what you've learned over the years and sharing with us. We really appreciate the time. And I know that this is going to be very impactful for our, our audience. So thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed my conversation here with Joey Hudnall. Joey is an awesome guy. He is a great leader. I'm just getting to know him. I know his people are constantly telling me that he really cares about the people in the company. And it's because he's focused on some of these skills himself. And I hope that kind of the tips that we've shared for you today can help you to develop your people skills and become the best leader you can be. Please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.